Hey, welcome to the lab. In an earlier video, I did a review of this Unity UT161E. And I've had some requests, at least one request, for a teardown. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing a teardown of this unit. Now, if you found this video to be helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Questions and comments are always welcome. The feedback is appreciated and it helps me figure out where to focus my activity, like this video. So before we start the teardown, I'll turn the meter off. Batteries will stay in. Now, this looks like it has an overmolded case, but uh, in fact, you can see the seam that goes around the case here. So this is not sort of a, a, a removable overmold. This is kind of permanently attached. There are no screws immediately visible here. And so we'll take off the uh, battery cover and see if we can find some screws in there. So two screws down here. So we'll take those two screws out, see what happens. Okay, those two screws are out. Now let's see if we can separate the two halves of the case. So the bottom is separating without any trouble, but there is something binding at the top. So I need to do a little more exploring. Maybe there's some screws underneath the fuses or the battery box. I've taken the batteries out and you can see that there's a pair of screws there, so I'll remove those next. Well, that seems to have done the trick for the most part. Okay, so it just comes apart after taking those two screws out and we can see that uh, Unity, well, Unity is a manufacturer of these units. So this is a very neat unit inside. Let's have a quick overview of this board. And then we'll zoom in. What, what can we see here right off the bat? We've got some MOVs here, a whole bunch of PTCs here, current shunt, jacks, sockets for the jacks, that is. The main componentry is up here, and then we can see these two pieces are the optical couplers. The one is for input and one is for output for the uh, USB data logging interface. It's a very clean, very nice PCB, and so we'll zoom in now and have a look at the details. So zoomed in, Let's have a look at the different areas here on the board. We can see in the upper corner, that's the non-contact voltage sensor. We've got the uh, LEDs for the USB transmit and receive. Then this chip here, that's a uh, BU9792, so that's the LCD driver up there. This one over here is an ARM Cortex microcontroller, uh, HC32L130, so a little microcontroller there. Then, let's see what else we can see without moving this. If we move this up a little this way, this item here is, uh, that's an EEPROM. So that's a 24C12 EEPROM. That's the resistor network for the unit. Then we've got down here, we've got some MOVs and some PTCs that are used to protect against surges. You can see the fuses there and then the, uh, the input jack sockets. Now, just in case you're wondering, there are a fair number of screws to remove in order to get the, uh, the board out. And of special interest, there are screws on the base of the input jacks here. 
that have to be removed as well because of the new jack design that they've used here. This fastens the, uh, the circuit board to the jacks, so those screws have to come out. And then there are a variety of little screws uh, all around. And of course, once all the screws are out, it just lifts out without too much trouble. So looking at the other side of the board, we can see the contacts for the rotary switch. We can see this big segment over here and we can see the contact points for the buttons and the LCD. Now the LCD does happen to be soldered in place uh, with this connection here. And even though the contact strips at the sides could be pried off, there is a, a sort of another significant chip underneath the LCD panel, but I don't feel like disassembling that far in order to figure out what that is. I apologize for that. So a little bit of a gap in the tear down there. Um, but that's about everything for this particular side of the board. Not a whole lot of interest. Like I say, they've kind of hidden one of the main chips underneath the, uh, underneath the LCD there. So I've reassembled the front part of the unit. So the main board is reseated, reattached, and I hope everything still functions when I turn it back on. We can just see here, this is the back side of the unit. We can see that there's a lot of shielding uh, in this area. So, uh, you know, that will probably reduce uh, electrical noise and whatnot and, and reinforce this area of the, the case. And uh, in case you're wondering, the non-contact voltage sensor fits in in this uh, area here. And then we've got the uh, battery with the spring terminals here. And this particular spring terminal will make contact with this metal part of the case. Okay, well, if you uh, found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time.